When I say the term GOAT or greatest of all time, who comes to mind? If you're an athlete or a sports fanatic, maybe you're thinking of Tom Brady, as much as I hate to say it, or LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, or if you've been watching The Last Dance, maybe you're thinking Michael Jordan, or one of my all-time favorite athletes, Tiger Woods. But maybe you didn't think of sports. Maybe you thought of businessmen like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs. But when we talk about these people and we put them in the, the GOAT category, what makes them the GOAT? What makes them the GOAT is the fact that they were the exception of their generation. And I wonder, Dream City Youth, would people that are the closest to you, if I went and asked them, would they say that you are the exception of a generation? Or are you simply just like everyone else? What does it mean to be the exception of a generation? Well, why don't we go to the Bible and, and see someone who God saw as the exception of a generation? Genesis 6 verse 5 says this, When the Lord saw that human wickedness was widespread on the earth, and that every inclination of the human mind was nothing but evil all the time, the Lord regretted that he made man on the earth, and he was deeply grieved. And then the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I created off the face of the earth, together with the animals, the creatures that crawl, and the birds of the sky. For I regret that I made them. Noah, however, found favor with the Lord. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among his contemporaries. Noah walked with God. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among his contemporaries. Noah walked with God. You see, I heard a quote a couple of months ago that said this, if people knew our character, then we could do a much better job of serving each other in the kingdom. If people knew our character. You see, friends, what I think is so unfortunate is we care more about our clout than we do our character. You see, clout is something that we can gain on social media. I know that we're all stuck at home and we're on social media more now than ever. And it's hard to gauge character on social media. But I just have to ask, do you care more about your clout or your character? If you want to be the exception of a generation, if you want to be someone that makes a difference, then your character has to be at the forefront of your mind in every decision that you make. But what does it mean to be the exception of a generation? Well, it says in the Bible that Noah did three things. It says that Noah was a righteous man. What does that mean? It means what do you stand for? Do people know what you stand for? Or do they simply see you as someone who sits? Do they see you as someone that stands for anything? Whatever is popular, you're standing up and you're, yeah, I'm about that. Or are you someone that is led by conviction? You're someone that's led by the word of God. Even when everyone else is doing it, you're saying, you know what? I might be the only person that is following the word of God, but I'm going to do it anyway. That's what it means to be righteous. It also says Noah was blameless. Blameless means this. Obedience in the midst of evil should be our supreme goal. Obedience in the midst of evil should be the supreme goal. And I'm not just talking about obedience in public. I'm talking about obedience in private. When you're all alone at home or in your room and you're on your phone and, and there's that temptation to watch pornography or there's that temptation to watch a show or a movie that you know you shouldn't be watching. That is also what obedience is. That is what true character is. But then it also says this. The last thing it says is Noah walked with. Can you say with, with me? With. Noah walked with God. He didn't walk in front of God telling God, all right, God, hey, come on. This is where we're going. No, it says he walked with God, stride and stride with God. And you, if you're walking with someone, that means that you are deeply intimate with them, that you're having conversation and that they are close. And God is close with you when you walk in obedience with him. So friends, my question is this. Do people know that you have been with Jesus? Do people know? Can people sense that when you are with them, that there is something that is different about you? And no, I'm not talking about the fact that maybe you have a longer nose or a goofy smile. I'm talking about, can they sense that there is something supernaturally different about you? You see, Noah was ridiculed when making this ark, but it says within 17 verses, it says four times that Noah did everything that God commanded him to. Everything God commanded him to, and everyone saw it. 
It's not just do people know what you stand for. It's do they see it? Do you live it out? What are you exemplifying? Are you the exception of a generation? Or are you simply just another person in this generation?